Hello everyone, this is Easy Natural English with Liam and this is a listening episode so this will be uploaded as a podcast and as a YouTube video as I explained in the last episode so there will be no script so I have nothing written down and there will be no editing and I will just be talking to you in a natural but slightly easier way to help you really get used to English so you'll be able to understand native speakers more easily and you will be able to make more natural sounding sentences um, so yeah by listening to English like this you can get a real feeling for how English works and today I want to talk to you a bit about some British culture so I'm from the UK and um, I say British culture um, well this is um, so I want to talk about uh, charity shops so they kind of exist in other countries so I'm not saying this is only British culture they do exist in other countries but I really like the way UK does charity shops so what is a charity shop um, a charity shop is like a recycle shop um, it's like a shop where you can buy second hand things second hand means used so somebody perhaps bought a shirt and then they decided they didn't need that shirt anymore they give it to a second hand shop or a recycle shop and then somebody else can buy that shirt um, and here in Japan you know I live in Japan there are there are plenty of recycle shops there are quite a lot of recycle shops so a shop where I can go and buy secondhand things or use things like electronics, books, clothes. And those are very good because, um, you know, if we keep buying new things, new things, new things, it's not good for the environment. Um, you know, if we just buy a new thing and then we don't need it anymore and we throw it away, that's not very good for the environment. <laughs> of course, that creates a lot of waste, a lot of pollution because you know we need to do something with all this rubbish with all this garbage um, in the UK it's often buried which is not good for the ground here in Japan it's often burnt you know and if you're burning lots of rubbish it's creating a lot of emissions um, so emissions is the gas that's released from uh, fires released from energy use so CO2, carbon dioxide, for example, is an emission. There's lots of different emissions. But basically, yeah, these gases, the smoke, that is very bad for our atmosphere, for our environment, and it makes climate change worse. So yeah, burying rubbish, burning rubbish, uh, neither of these are good solutions. Even recycling, you know, when we take plastic and we melt it, and then we make something new with that plastic that still uses energy it's still not the best way to reuse something so the best way is just for somebody to use that product as it is you know so for example if I have a book and I recycle the paper and make a new book it's still using energy you know still making emissions so the best way is just to give that book to somebody else to read that's the smoothest and uh, best solution for the environment. So in Japan, they have recycle shops and those are, like I said, good for the environment. So I buy lots of secondhand books, secondhand, this was secondhand, I buy lots of secondhand clothes. Um, yeah, electronics, I buy secondhand. So it's cheaper and it's good for the environment. But in the UK, they have a lot of these places called charity shops. So charity shops, are like a recycle shop but the difference is the money they take is not used for profit it's not for the business owner so here in Japan the recycle shops the business owner takes the money and the business owner gets rich but um, the charity shops in the UK they're run by charities and charities are organizations or well they're not companies it's say organizations 
that take money to help、uh, people, to help animals, to help the environment. So to do good work, to do charity work. So a very big one in the UK is Oxfam.、Uh, Oxfam, they use their money to help people in developing countries. So in these poor countries where people can't get、uh, clean water, or they don't have enough food, or they have you know many problems in with society or politics, Oxfam uses their money to help these people.、Uh, Oxfam also helps、uh, homeless people in the UK. So in the UK there are people with no home, no place to live. They live on the streets.、Uh, Oxfam tries to help these people. And there's also charity shops that use their money to help animals.、Um, for example, animals that are、uh, thrown away by people. So when a lot of people they buy a dog, they buy a cat, then they decide they don't want it anymore, and they just throw it away.、Um, and either that cat or dog will just die, or somebody needs to help them. So some of these charity shops help animals like that. Some of them help wild animals. So in the environment,、uh, like endangered animals, endangered means、uh, rare. So an animal that is almost extinct, almost disappearing. For example, famous ones like pandas or rhinos. You know there aren't many left in the、uh, environment in the wild. So charity shops are really great, I think, because you can. Go and you can buy something. It's going to be cheap because it's secondhand, so it means you're doing a good thing for the environment because you're not, yeah, using energy, using materials to make a new product. You're not throwing away this old product, so that's very good. And then the money you give the shop is going to help some people, going to help some animals, going to help some good cause. So I really like charity shops. You know, you can. Because sometimes when we go shopping, perhaps you think, "Oh, I'm wasting my money. I'm buying things I don't need." But when you go to a charity shop, you can think, "Well, I'm giving money to a charity. This is a good thing." And in the UK, there are really many, many charity shops.、Um, any kind of commercial area. So commercial area means an area with shops、um, and cafes and restaurants and bars. The opposite is a residential area. So a residential area is the place with lots of houses and apartments where people live, kind of private areas. Then you have a commercial area where you have all your shops and cafes, restaurants, etc. And in the UK, almost any commercial area, even if it's just one street with some shops, cafes, bars, etc., they'll probably have a charity shop. There's really many, many charity shops. So、um, America does have some. America's biggest one is called Goodwill.、Um, so America, if you're in America, you can go to Goodwill, and they have some really big ones too. But there's not quite as many, and I feel like、uh, I don't know the way they work is a bit different from the ones in the UK.、Um, and I've lived in quite a few countries. I've lived in nine countries, and within all those nine countries. I think、uh, yeah, the UK charity shops are the best. <laughs>、um, I'm not saying that because I'm from the UK. There are many things I don't like about the UK, but for the charity shops, yeah, I think they're doing a good job of that in the UK. So if you're visiting the UK or if you're living in the UK, definitely visit some charity shops because you can buy some products that have been used before. So yeah, you're not using energy to make new products. Um, you can recycle an old product, and you can give your money to a good cause. So, if you're wondering how do they do business, you know, do they make much money? Because it's non-profit. You know, profit is the money a business takes for their for themselves. So these businesses are non-profit. So perhaps you're wondering how do they pay rent?、Uh, how do they survive? So. In the UK, charities, and I think it's similar in other countries too, but in the UK, charities、um, have a lot of help from the government. So these charity shops, they tend to,、um, for example, pay zero tax or almost no tax. 
You know, normally a lot of businesses, you have to pay tax to the government. But because this business or this organization, they're not making money for themselves. They're making money for a good cause. So usually they get what we call tax breaks. So it means the government says, oh, it's okay. You don't have to pay that tax. So they get tax breaks and um, perhaps they get some help with their rent. I'm not sure how the rent system works. You know, the rent is the money you need to pay for a building or a shop or a house. Maybe they get some help with the rent. I'm not actually an expert on this because I don't think they make much money because normally the things in the charity shop are actually very, very cheap. <laughs> so really you should go because they have very good bargains. You know, you could find some designer brand jacket that maybe originally cost 100 pounds or 200 pounds and then you can buy it for like 20 pounds or 10 pounds or sometimes even cheaper. So some products are really cheap, like books usually cost like 50 pence, which is half a pound. So yeah, we have a pound and then you have pence. So it's like 50 pence, which is about 60 cents in America. Um, yeah, so they're very cheap products. So I think they must be getting some help with their rent or something. And then the staff are usually volunteers. So, you know, if you're a volunteer, it means you're working for free. You are volunteering your services. So they're very nice people. <laughs> so if you go into one of these shops, please be nice to the staff because they're probably not getting any money. They're probably just working for free. They're just people who want to help the community. They want to help this charity. So they give their time and they work for free. So sometimes, you know, the service is usually very friendly. Sometimes it might not be as professional as some other stores, but that's because, yeah, these people are just working for free. But the service is usually still very, very good. So, yeah, today um, I talked about charity shops. Do you have charity shops in your country? Like I said, I've lived in nine countries and I have visited about 30 countries and I haven't seen a system that's quite the same as the UK. So let me know what they are like in your country. If you're on the YouTube version of this, you can write in the comments. If you're on the podcast version, there's no comment section. So come over to YouTube, the YouTube channel and write your comments and let me know what charity shops are like in your country. If you don't have charity shops, then let me know about the system you have for recycle shops. Because, yeah, I really like recycle shops and charity shops. It's something I'm very interested in. So please let me know what it's like in your country. If you are on the YouTube version, please subscribe and like. Uh, if you're on the uh, podcast, then please follow and review. Everybody share with your friends and I'll see you all back here next time.